Let's now look at the circuit for the vehicle charging unit, protected by a 20 amp breaker. When it comes to charging electric vehicles, we have no specific requirements in the regs, although I wouldn't be surprised to see these appear in the future, possibly as a special installation. There are, however, international standards which no doubt we will harmonise with, and these define four types of charging mode. The first mode can be via a household socket and extension cord, as long as both overcurrent and earth leakage currents are protected against. The main problem with mode 1 is the use of available power. The typical charging load in this instance can easily reach 3 kilowatts, which would be using nearly half the available power on a ring circuit, and possibly unbalance the loading of that part of the ring. The second mode is again by use of a domestic socket, but this time with a special cable, featuring a protective device. This has many of the same drawbacks as mode 1, but also the added expense for the special cable. Mode 3 is a specific socket on a dedicated circuit which will enable greater current capacity and reduce charging times. Mode 4 is a direct current DC connection for fast charging and would be typical of an installation found in a filling station which could charge a vehicle to 80% of battery capacity in just 15 minutes. Our installation will comply with Mode 3 and has a dedicated circuit which will allow sufficient power to charge a vehicle in 4 to 8 hours. So what function does the vehicle charging station provide? 